Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 11, 9. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. In this verse, we will see there's two people, the hypocrite and the righteous, and they have two different actions. The hypocrite is one who will say and act like they are one thing to people, to the outside world, but on the inside, their heart and their spirit and what they do in private is different than what they portray. And then the righteous, the righteous are the ones who follow the Lord and know the Lord. The actions we see is the hypocrites, what they are displaying in their behaviors are they're destroying people with the words they say, how they talk, their interactions are destroying people. Whereas the righteous, with the knowledge they have, they are being delivered. I went to Merriam-Webster Dictionary and I looked up knowledge and the first definition that they gave was the fact or condition of knowing something with familiarity gained through experience or association. So they're saying knowledge is just being familiar because you have associated with the Lord. So knowledge of the Lord is you are familiar with them through your experiences and you're going to them. That is gaining your knowledge of the Lord. Through going to the Lord over and over again, gaining that knowledge, you will be delivered. The hypocrite, on the other hand, their focus is on the words they're saying, saying things constantly, and they are destroying their neighbor. I think one lesson that we can take from this, and there's many lessons that we really can take from this, is if we're associating a lot and our friendships and our close ones and the time that we spent is with hypocrites, then there's going to be destruction there. And it's probably going to spill out onto you at some point. Whereas the righteous who are spending time with the Lord, um, they're getting delivered, right? Um, there is a deliverance that is present. There is not this destruction that is present. Once again, I think we have to realize that there are hypocrites everywhere. Um, there's hypocrites in all kinds of forms of different jobs, different settings. They are saying things and they're not doing what they say. It's not just in one area it's not just in one field. It's not just in one group of person or types of person. So knowing that information, we really have to ask God for discernment to help us to know a hypocrite when we see them, whether they are in church, whether they're in our job, whether they're in our family, or whether they're in friend groups, so that we can be aware that destruction is going to be around them. Because God knows really quickly who the hypocrites are, and he can give us that knowledge. So I pray that the Holy Spirit has taken the word of Lord today and has encouraged.